Hey guys, say hey, welcome to another episode of a film life vlog. So guess what? I know I have not done this in a while. Those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I have this sort of special deal with this thrift store in town and they save all the film cameras that they get for me and oftentimes I will go there and they will uh, offer me everything for about ten dollars, fifteen dollars um, depending on the quantity of uh, cameras that they have often it's a really good deal I've found some amazing things, amazing cameras the other side of it is that I take everything I can't pick and choose uh, if I see a digital camera they just throw everything in so I have to deal with it so yeah that's absolutely fine with me. Yesterday, I went there and they had a decent package for me. And that's this box that you see right here. I must say that it's a pretty decent haul. It's not the biggest haul that I've seen, but I would say it's very, very decent. And I'm excited to share that with you guys. So when I found this bag, I, you know, I was curious. I knew what it was because I could see the, the camera right in there and that's a digital camera now usually I'm not a fan of digital cameras but I must say that this one here is pretty nice looking ever since I started shooting digital uh, for my business one thing that I'm realizing is that you know it's it's an opportunity to challenge myself it's not as enjoyable of an experience as shooting with film cameras however it's a great opportunity to challenge yourself to see what kind of image you can get with cameras such as these. Um, and I must say I've been able to get some pretty decent um, images from my digital cameras recently. Um, the experience is not as fun as shooting with a, f uh, with a film camera, but the images that I've gotten are pretty nice, some of them. And so I'm not going to... Uh, look down on a camera like this really it's it's a pretty nice camera it's a 12 point uh, where is that 12 megapixel actually i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but it's right there 12 megapixel it's a zoom lens and look at the size of that lcd screen beautiful eh and it also came with a little quick setup guide uh, right there and also has some other accessories. I guess this is a pouch that you put the camera in. Decent. Um, the charger. So the batteries um, are those little flat batteries that fit in here. Nice. The Pentax software. <laughs> I guess back in the day these things were a big deal, right? Not anymore though. And I guess an AV cable right there. And that's it for that package. Next. And this one here, I guess this one is a 110 uh, film camera, Concord. Actually, no, I don't think this will work very well. I think this is all broken because I see the terminal. I think it's missing a plate right there. Yeah, it is missing a plate, so I, if I want, I can retrofit it, but God, goodness, it's too much of a hassle. This is no good. And then, this is going to be interesting. I took a quick peek at this box, and I must say, oh, this thing is hard to come out. And I must say that the rest of the stuff are pretty interesting. Check this out. Look at that beauty. This is the Pentax IQ Zoom. From the design aesthetics, I can tell that this was probably made in the 80s, maybe the early to mid 80s. I have to confirm. You know what I'm gonna put? I'm gonna do some research and I'll put the year of manufacture right here. And uh, it looks pretty nice. It looks like it's in good shape. Good sign. Everything looks like it's in perfect order. 
it takes triple A batteries right there no corrosion the lens is a Pentax lens 35 millimeters to 70 millimeter zoom right there and what I really found fascinating about this are these buttons right here I have to delve into it and see how this camera performs there's also the zoom uh, rocker right here and I guess this is the shutter release button and um, I'm not sure about these but this could be like the mode settings right there that's good stuff and next when I saw this box I was literally so excited because guess what this is the Olympus stylus it's not the famous version of it the one with the prime lens but this is the one with the zoom lens I think it's a 105 millimeter um, zoom lens but guess what this thing is practically new I don't think this the camera in this has been used before I was so shocked and I was so stoked by it I was like wow it comes with it's like they open the box and they never bothered to ever use it so let's check this out let's start let's start from you know what let's start with the camera why not look original box and this is the Olympus stylus 105 right there and as you open it's even wrapped <laughs> In the original uh, bubble uh, bubble wrap here, it's just a box, a little strap here, camera strap. I was so so impressed, and this, my friends, is the Olympus Stylus 105 zoom in impeccable condition. Just look at that. It there's no scratch, no dent. I don't think this has ever been used guys look at the back it's fresh it just looks so new in pristine conditions I love it I love it I had one of these in the past and I actually sold it um, I think I sold it for about a hundred dollars or something like that but this I'm not selling because it's in too good of a condition to sell really Look at that. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's open it up. And let's check. Oh, now you can see, you can tell. You can really tell that it's not, they've never used this before. There, there are no markings in it. There's nothing to show that this has ever been used before. I just see a little flap in there that probably just needs to be pushed in but that shouldn't be much of an issue this is so cool guys this this is so cool guys so this I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this camera actually and also in the box and look at that this is a pouch that's already sealed with the battery that that came with this camera look at that so this has not been used you can tell this this is all sealed up it's never been opened that's awesome and also the manual even looking at the manual you can tell this has never been opened or used which is amazing really amazing because wow it's 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 almost impossible to find cameras like these in unused un uh, like pristine condition and whenever you find them it's always something to celebrate so i'm i'm excited i'm excited to have this this is awesome guys whenever i see these bags as you guys know it always brings joy to my heart it always 
warms my heart because I know that this probably belonged to someone who was more professional. And so oftentimes they purchase SLRs, not point and shoots. So when I saw this, I knew there had to be an SLR in there. That's been my experience every single time. And I wasn't wrong this time either. And this is how it was packed. And in here is the beautiful, beautiful Canon T70. Wow. This camera is a highly underrated camera. It's very powerful and it's really nice to shoot with. And look at that. I've tested it actually and it works. It's fitted with the Tokina 28 to 70 millimeters f3.5. It's a zoom lens f3.5. Very nice. Very nice. But that's not all. It also came. <laughs> this, I think, is the, my favorite part of this lot. This is the Canon 50mm f1.4 lens. F1.4, guys. That is super nice. Nice, fast lens. Love it. It's everything seems to be in good working order the aperture ring is clicks very nicely it's not too stiff the focusing ring is very nice and smooth i really love it i think i think that i really lucked out to have such an awesome uh, lens here so i'm gonna be testing all of these to make sure that they work and obviously in the future I will be sharing that experience with you guys because that's what I do. Every time I take these out for a spin, I'll be sure to share that experience with you guys. And these are bonus items that came with it. Check this out. This here is a Nikon Nuvis A20. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sort of a weird film camera, to be honest. It's not a 35 millimeter camera. It's one of those cameras that they made um, <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess they wanted to create some convenience uh, back in the day. They thought 35 millimeter um, cartridges were not convenient enough. So they made these special cartridges. All you have to do is just slip it in here and then it would uh, automatically feed into the camera. And when you're done, it will feed back into the cartridge. You, the cartridge, you take it out and you basically um, go develop those. Those cartridges were, the format was smaller than the 35 millimeter. Suffice it to say that that format is practically dead. Um, but here's a camera that I got in this lot that uses those cartridges. I don't think I'll ever be able to use this camera here. Maybe I'll put it on sale or bas basically use it as a display piece here but this came with a lot for what it's worth then also I got these uh, filters here that came with a lot as well this one here is the Optex close-up filters you would typically use these filters for macro photography uh, just to allow you to get closer to your subject and the more of these you use, the closer you can get to the subject. So that is what it's for. And uh, it came with three of them. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you did, do click the like button. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, hey, it would be nice if you could uh, click on the subscribe button. There's a lot of stuff that I will be sharing with you guys in the, in the near future. So until the next time, guys. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe.